by Lionel Richie. The number one smash that launched his solo career. Lionel Richie, the 21st biggest act of the 1980s so far. This is American Top 40 in Hollywood with our special countdown this week, the 40 top acts of the 80s. I'm Casey Kasem. We'll continue in a moment. We've got 20 big hits to go on our way to the number one act of the decade. WLS with a special edition of the Music Radio Countdown. That's tonight at 6 o'clock. Jeff Davis features the top five hits of summertime from the past 10 years, plus exclusive interviews and a lot more. It's another part of the Summer Hits Weekend, and it's only from WLS. It's news time. Here's Harley Carnes. A new poll on President Reagan's performance in office. He's doing better these days. The poll by the New York Times and CBS shows 47% approve, 39% disapprove. He's up six points. More pressure on the Russians. West German Chancellor Helmut Kohl says today he is going to tell the Soviets, unless there is a breakthrough soon in arms talks, Germany is going ahead with deployment of new American nuclear missiles. A weekend fire at the ComEd substation on the south side of Chicago means headaches for commuters this coming week. The Illinois Central will not be able to run its regular schedule until the line is fixed, and that probably won't happen until after Tuesday. We have not heard the last of Argentina, perhaps, where the Falkland Islands are concerned. They keep saying they'll be back. Argentina is negotiating with France for a new missile with three times the range of the Exocet. And the Exocet was the one they used to sink a British warship in that war. President Reagan says, by the way, he feels great, thinks he'd only be bored if he retires, and says he hasn't made up his mind about running for re-election. You get the feeling he's just joshing about that. And a word of advice for Italian high school students from nutrition experts. Actually, it's advice good for anyone about to take a test. Just before the test, eat chocolate and other garbage food with sugar in it. The sugar will help your brain work better. But it doesn't last long, so answer the questions quickly. When the sugar is gone, there is usually a letdown, which is why people eat sweets continuously. It is in many ways habit-forming and obviously not good for your health, but it may be good for your tests. WLS Sports, White Sox in Minnesota today, Sox over the Twins 4-2 yesterday. The Cubs entertain the Expos at Wrigley Field today. The Cubs beat Montreal on Saturday 5-2. Chicago Blitz must win today at Soldier Field against Oakland if they are going to make the playoffs. And at Wimbledon today, John McEnroe was well-behaved, and he was incredible on the court. He simply destroyed unseated Chris Lewis 6-2, 6-2, 6-2 for McEnroe's second Wimbledon championship. WLS radar weather we're going to have some clouds today good chance of showers tonight thunderstorms about 70 percent chance tomorrow variable cloudiness and cooler slight chance of morning showers and then it's going to be real nice high today 93 the low tonight 72 high tomorrow 82 right now it's about 80 degrees but it's going up there i'm harley tyler wls news <laughs> This is American Top 40 in Hollywood. I'm Casey Kasem. We continue now with our special countdown of the 40 top acts of the 80s so far. Number 20. Act number 20 is the popular rock and soul band from New Jersey. A band whose specialty is making a happy sound you can dance to. During the 80s, their three biggest hits have been Too Hot, Get Down On It, and this number one smash. Here's Cool in the Gang. the 20th biggest act of the 80s with their number one smash celebration. A song that leaped into the top spot in early 1981. I'm Casey Kasem, this is American Top 40. Now we're up to a super rock star who might argue that this decade hasn't been too good to him. He broke up with his manager, who also happened to be his wife. He had an accident on his motorcycle that damaged his right hand. And he's a piano player. But that didn't stop him from collecting eight top 40 hits so far in the 80s, including two top 10s. Here's the 19th biggest act of the decade, Billy Joel. What was the matter with the clothes on? Where a chance to tell that your tie's too white? Maybe I should buy some old tab collars. Welcome back to the age of time. Where have you been hiding out? Ain't it hard in the past? Everybody's talking about 
the 19th biggest act of the 1980s. Super rock star Billy Joel with his number one smash of 1980. It's still rock and roll to me. But Billy hasn't built his success in this decade solely on the driving hard rock style. Sometimes he lays back a bit and gets a little thoughtful about troubled times in the 80s, as he did just last winter. Well, we're living here in Alice. by Billy Joel, the 19th biggest recording act so far in the 80s. Up next, a man the Guinness Book of World Records has named the world's most successful songwriter. The hits from coast to coast. Well, he does have his clean, refreshing, unspoiled taste. Just goes to show you really can judge a soft drink by its color. Don't you feel the <laughs> Partly sunny, windy, and warm and humid this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight with thunderstorms likely. Monday the 4th, variable cloudiness and cooler with a slight chance of rain in the morning. And today's high should reach 90 with a low tonight of 72. Monday's high should be 82. Officially right now it's 80 degrees. <laughs> Casey Kasem with a special edition of American Top 40, the 40 top acts so far in the 80s. You know, when the AT40 statisticians and later the Guinness Book of World Records identified this next artist as the world's most successful songwriter, it was no small thing. Record sales and chart performance put him ahead of such legends as Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, and all the other great songwriters. And his own performance on record had plenty to do with selling the songs he wrote. Both the ones he co-wrote with John Lennon and the ones he wrote himself. At number 18 for the 80s, here's one of the biggest contributors to pop music in history, Paul McCartney. with his number one smash coming up. Paul McCartney, along with John Lennon, is one of the two Beatles to wind up in our survey of the biggest acts so far in this decade. And Paul clocks in at number 18. Coming up next, a rocker from Indiana who had only minor chart success until 1982. That's when he exploded with a song that went to number two and a song that went all the way to number one from an album called American Fool. Tax help comes in handy year-round. You can use your touchstone telephone to call the IRS tax tip hotline at 886-9614. WLS gives you music people tonight at 11. Words and music from your favorite artists brought to you by Old Style. Whatever you do, make it worthwhile and do it with style. our survey of the biggest acts so far in the three and a half years of the 80s. In the closing weeks of 79, a song called I Need a Lover came onto the top 40. It was the first hit for a young rocker from central Indiana. He hit the top 40 once more in 1980 and again in 81. But in 1982, he exploded with two big hits. He hit number one with Jack and Diane after this number two smash opened the door for him. 